Hello and good day to the panel and judges. My title is IoT Based Vehicle Parking Model for Train Community User with Mobile App and Software. My name is Ho Sin Won. My team ID is MY041. Coming to problem statement. There is a lack of priority contribution to public transport, especially to train community users. Most of the parking mobile app software in Malaysia only serve for online purchase for parking coupon. In addition, the parking mobile app software is lacking in parking finding approach. So, the current solution provided is MRT is having a promotion regarding pre book by implement the park and ride campaign which have the user to contact the operator to book it. So the limitation of this system is it is not sufficiently flexible as somehow it only fulfill part of the user demand on booking. So our solution and why is better? Uh, to develop an IoT based mobile app software that prioritize train community user is our solution. And it is better. This because is the user can attain real time information at parking slot and it is more user friendly to user that can book parking slot at any time they desire. So coming to target segment and impact. The project is aiming to solve parking constraint for train community user. It will sufficiently fulfill most of the train community user demand to book parking slot. And that's all for me. And please enjoy for the demo for the project. Alright, welcome to the demo session. And I will demo for the Arduino coding part. For the for this part I will set the connection for my house Wi-Fi ID and password. So and followed by the MQTT server certificate and policy that I create. So until the void loop part, the I will code for the sensor to be read by the ESP32 and for the message to be sent it will be in this format first it will be MAC ID the reading for sensor 1 followed by sensor 2, sensor 3 and sensor 4 so I will restart the reset button and let's see for the serial monitor it will reconnect to my Wi-Fi again so the all this work is the certificate that look from my save file and you, you can see the reading is 1110 one means there is no reading because the sensor is set to be read high as default when there is nothing in front of it where you can see I put a miniature car toy in front of the sensor for and the reading is 0 hence which means that there's a car in front of the sensor, it will reach zero. So I have set this program to be sent at to be read at every five minutes. So let's wait for five minutes. Alright, five minutes has reached. So the first message published to AWS MQTT server, which is uh, starting with my Mac ID of my house Wi-Fi, and followed by reading of sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, and sensor four, as you can see. Sensor 4 is 0, so there's a car in front of my sensor 4. So I will be logged into my AWS account and subscribe to the topic IRFox, which I set at the Arduino for the for it to publish at that topic. So the reading is the same as well, 1, 1, 1 and 0. So from here I will be connect a loading book for the Dynamo DB database so I will look for the table part for the reading it will be saved into this IRProx ESP32 table and from this table we can see that it's item the latest reading will be located at the bottom which is 1 1 1 and 0 it is exactly same as what we had in the sensor of ESP32 serial monitor so the data will be saved to this dynamo db at every interval of 10 minutes previously i had mentioned that the data will publish at set to publish at every 5 minutes this is due to 
the ESP32 will automatically disconnect and reconnect at every interval of 5 minutes. Hence, this causes every the fifth the second five minute interval message will not be published hence it will become every message to be sent at every 10 minutes interval all right coming to the software part i will demonstrate for the book table this is the table that responsible for the book session where we can see that this is the secret access key that i need to key and the region for the database for the table name it is book table and the data to be key in was initially set as default where it is available to be booked by user for every parking slot. So when we run it, the data will be sent to the database. Alright, let's go to the database. And we can see that it is all available. Alright, let's go into the software. Let's close it and all right, let's run it. So it will bring us to the login and sign up part where we, I have created the email where we can see here the email I have previously created which is the ID and password in username so I just have to key in the, any either one of it alright it will take some time to load Alright, as we can see here, it is same as the data we got earlier, where sensor 1, 2 and 3, there is no car occupied at the parking slot, where it, the sensor 4 has a car occupied. So, as we can see from the booking session where all 4 is still available, what if I press the book, like I press the A1 slot. So, when I refresh, it will show it is booked. So, what if I suddenly I want to cancel it? I don't want to book anymore, so I press it. So, when I refresh the data, it will be available again. So, I have done all that, so I'm going to lock up. I press the lock up button. It will bring me to the login and sign up part. So, that's all from me. Thank you.